The highly anticipated Final Fantasy VII focused state of play has gone and passed. Square Enix dropped a bombshell, they knew what they were doing, for us, the fans who have been eagerly awaiting and still awaiting any new news, demo, or information. And they delivered a playable demo which offered a tantalizing glimpse into not only Tifa, I mean, not only <laughs> the Nebulaham flashbacks, but also some of the events, characters, and designs from the upcoming title. Released alongside the State of Play stream, the demo transported the players into this iconic Final Fantasy VII world, which allowed us to step into the shoes not only as Cloud, but this time as Sephiroth during some of the most pivotal moments in the game. Set against the backdrop of, again, the Nebelheim incidents. If y'all know, y'all know. For those that have been playing the game for the last, what, 27 years now, new graphics, sound, but, 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 that's not it. Square Enix announced plans to enhance the demo with a new upcoming added experience, which will be dropping on February 24th. <laughs> 2024 that's one week before the game drops like so my question is like really i'm a little excited y'all gotta forgive me but well, my question is how much info is too much info the update says that it's going to introduce us into the world or rather the town the military town of junon which is going to give us a glimpse of how big the town actually is However, we're not going to fully get the full scope of Junon until Rebirth officially releases on the 29th. Game director Naoki Hamaguchi has revealed on a Twitter post, I, I, I still refuse to call it X for now, that Junon features in the demo is likely to be expanded on and be even bigger in the full game, hinting that it's going to have even more rich and dynamic environments that we, the players, can explore on the release. I, more than Junon, I really want to see that Midgar uh, uh, Golem, and I want to see what they're going to do more with Fort Condor now that we already got a little sample of it. So after Junon, uh, 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 what are we going to see? Are we going to see a little bit more or, you know, or excuse me, before Junon is what we, you know, the whole forest and stuff area was where Yuffie was supposed to be. But now we know, well, she's, you know, she's official. She ain't secret no more. I, I, I meant secret. Secret no more. While progress in the game from Junon section in the demo is going to be nice, unfortunately, it's not going to carry over to the main game. Players who complete the demo will be rewarded with an exclusive game bonus, but yeah, um, we ain't going to be able to take that progress over. These include a com these comp some of the some of the bonuses include, but not limited to. And a Koopa charm, which increases the efficiency of resource gathering, and one of those invaluable survivor kits, featuring additional popes, ethers, and other. The release of the demo marks a significant milestone for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, offering fans an immersive and engaging preview of what promises to be one of the Game of the Year contenders. As anticipation for the game continues to increase, Ahead of its launch, February 29th can't get here soon enough. Are y'all going to be downloading the expanded portions of the demo? Yeah, I, I look it. I already know the answer to that, but I still want to ask it anyway. Are y'all excited for Final Fantasy VII: The Rebirth? What do y'all expect's gonna happen? Do you think they're gonna take Tifa away? Do you think it's gonna be like the dating simulator? Are we going to get an option to choose who lives, who dies? Ooh, it's so much, and it's so little time, and so many games, I don't know what's going to happen and what they're doing. Which, if you've been playing so many games for so long and so many stories, that's a good thing. 
But anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you did like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all things RPGs and geek, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make geekly content here on the channel all the time, all the time, all the time. And as always, in the web, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all later. P -p -p Peace.